Hello guys, Lifehackster here. I've been seeing a lot of videos and companies lately making this hide in plain sight furniture where they have a secret compartment to store your guns and valuables. Well, I don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on one and I realized I already have the furniture. So I just need to find a way to use the existing furniture that I have to make a secret compartment. So today I'm going to take my spin on it and I'm not a cabinet maker and just have a mediocre knowledge on carpentry. So I want this build as simple as possible and without spending an arm and a leg. My plan is to build a small box or compartment that I can store and easily access a handgun. So what we need is wood, some type of plywood or board which will act as the main base of the box. We also need a 2 inch by half inch that will act as a wall or sides. We also need a pair of hinge, small hinges. This one is a half inch by 2 inches. And the main locking mechanism is from a magnetic child cabinet lock. I will put the link in the description below on where you can find one. And we need nails glue, screwdriver, hammer, and saw. So first thing we need to do is to get measurements. So I have my Glock 19 here. I'm going to make sure it is not loaded. Now I can see it's pretty clear. So what we need is to measure the width and length based on the gun that I'm planning to use. I will need at least 7 inches in width and at least 9 inches in length. Now I'm going to make my marks and start cutting using my miter saw. Cutting the big board first for my base. Then the two by half inch for the sides. Now I just need to glue and nail them in. Now, there you have it. We now have a rectangular box that could easily fit my Glock and has more space if I want to add something more down the line. So time to find a place where I can install this. This is our little breakfast table where we eat most of our meals. The underside of this table is a perfect hiding spot for our box. And we can place it like so. If you look around your house, you will find more places like this, like this end table. And that can easily fit the box also. Just like that. Or even my TV and entertainment stand has plenty of space where I can put this box in.
All right, time for the install. We need to install our hinges to the box first. We need to drill pilot holes so that we can screw it in. Then we need to mark and drill pilot holes for the underside of the table and screw the box hinges in. We're going to screw it in and make sure it's tight. There you have it. The secret compartment is installed. Now we just need to use the magnetic lock to keep the compartment secure. First, we need to install the catch. It has a double-sided tape so you can attach that first, then screw it on the box. Next, we need to install the hook part of the lock. And this one needs to be screwed on the underside of the table. The best way to find a spot to install this is to first tape the lock to the catch. Then we can peel off the double-sided tape. And push the box up. And when you pull it down, you will see the lock base is now on the ideal spot. Now we just need to screw it in. We just need to test it out and see if it still needs some more tweaking. This looks pretty good and the box is there on tight. Now this is how the magnetic lock works. When the magnet from the top is near the lock, the hook will retract unlocking the box. So when you place the magnet like so, which is on top of the lock mechanism, it pulls the hook back. You just need to push up the box lightly to unhook it from the latch and our secret compartment opens. To close, keep the magnet on and push up the box. Then pull out the magnet to engage the hook. 
you will hear a distinctive click sound when the magnet locks or unlocks. Now, the magnet key looks inconspicuous enough, but I want to make it more natural. So I bought some magnets from Lowe's. And my plan is to use this salt shaker as the key. The magnet is a perfect size to be glued on the bottom of the shaker. We have to make sure that the polarity side is the same on the key, which is the side that repels each other. Now we just hot glued it and boom, we have a key disguised as a salt shaker. Let's check it out if it works. There you have it guys, less than an hour. I was able to make a secret compartment for less than $10. I hope you liked the video guys. Please hit like and share. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for everyday life hacks and product reviews. Thank you.